This is gonna be the video that changed your life. I'm just kidding, that's, it's, that's not this video. But we are talking about some uh, spring staples that you really need for spring um, to get yourself going in your wardrobe department. It's, it's really not gonna change your life, but it might change your wardrobe. It might make you a happier person this spring and the times you're getting dressed. For this video, I want us to set up a really good foundation. For spring, we're gonna get started off on the right foot, and by we, I mean you and I, because I'm talking to myself too. I do have a video next week that's gonna talk about these like really fun, interesting items to sprinkle into your wardrobe to have it updated for spring 2022. But first, I wanted us to lay a good foundation before we build our house of style. Let's start off with a place that I really never start with, a pair of shoes. We're gonna start off with white sneakers. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love colorful sneakers. Like I have a lot of them and I very much love them. But when we're talking about spring essentials, spring wardrobe essentials, you really do need a white pair of sneakers. They go with everything. They can dress something down. They're just a very essential item, in my opinion, for every woman to have. The next spring essential is a pair of white jeans and or white shorts. I say and or because in Florida, we probably want both. If you live somewhere else, you may just want a pair of white jeans or white bottoms. They don't have to be jeans. White bottoms somehow just elevate almost any top that you put with it. When you put them with denim jeans, which are great, and also we'll talk about those as well, it's a very casual look, but then you put white with it and it somehow just elevates it a little bit. It looks, makes it a little more crisp, a little bit more on purpose. Now, when you're talking about denim, I do personally feel like a pair of light wash jeans are a great thing to have in spring and then in summer if you live somewhere that's not florida <laughs> you will sweat to death in jeans in the summer again this could be light wash denim jeans or it could be light wash shorts i have both i have multiples of both i wear my denim shorts very very often here in florida so but again if you live somewhere a lot colder you may just want to stick with the light wash jeans if you find a good pair that works really, really well for your body, you really don't need a whole bunch more than just like one, maybe two pairs of jeans, you know? The next spring wardrobe essential is a white button-up shirt. Now I have seen some people comment that they have never found a white button-up shirt that really works for them or it just sits in their closet. I urge you to try to take it out and play around with it to try to see if you can make it work before you totally give up on it because it is an item that can really elevate something really basic on your bottom half to make it look a little bit more dressed up or a little bit more polished, I guess. I have this orange skirt that I found on ThreadUp actually and I really wanted to wear it on my key West vacation, but when I paired it with just a white t-shirt, it just, I don't know, it just didn't do what I wanted it to do. But then I paired it with the white button up and I feel like it made it look a little bit more like an outfit. It was a little bit overdressed for Key West, but I did like my outfit that day. The other thing you can do with a white button up, of course, is to wear it as a beach cover up or just wear it over a tank top as like your third layer. I'm gonna link some of my favorite items below. A lot of the items that I have in these categories I've had for a long time, and some of them I can still find online, and some I've just, I mean, they're just, they're old, and, and I have to find something similar, but I will do my best. The next item in your spring wardrobe essentials, and these are in no particular order, by the way, is a t-shirt dress or a shirt dress, or maybe both. I feel like having just a good casual dress that you can go to and you can just easily throw on with sneakers or you know, nude sandals if you wanted to, something you can just get up and go is always a great thing to have in your closet. Since it's a dress, it's a one piece, it could really be any color that you want. I mean, I'm sure people would recommend a neutral color, which would be great, but you know, I like a little bit of color. The next item, my Florida ladies may disagree with me on, depending on if you live in South Florida or not, <laughs> but I personally feel like on your spring wardrobe essentials list should be a loose knit sweater. So there are, where I live, there are cool evenings, there's cool mornings. And especially if I go down to the beach during this time, I like to have something that I can put on as the sun starts going down that you know I can wear as it gets a little bit more chilly. And then of course, if you are going straight from the beach to dinner, you kind of want something that you could put on and you're not gonna be cold at the dinner table or if there's air conditioning inside. If you're a cardigan person, this could also be a cardigan. I am not a cardigan person. I just seem to look frumpy in them, but a lot of people don't. They look amazing in them. So if that's you, cardigan would also do the same job. Another wardrobe essential, and this one might be one that you're just kind of like, eh, maybe not, or, or you might be like, oh my gosh, 
this will change my life. See, I, I knew this video was gonna change your life. It's this top, <laughs> but a silky top. I did a video recently where I talked about um, how silk just really elevates your outfit. And I feel like spring is a really great time to wear silk because we're still kind of wearing long sleeves. It's a very lightweight, breathable fabric. And it's a very easy item to add to a more casual bottom or denim shorts or denim jeans and make it look more dressy and polished without having a bunch of layers or really even trying too hard. And I love outfits where I don't have to try very hard, especially if I haven't slept very much. <laughs> this next one is an essential. I don't care who you are. 100% of you need this. I'm very, very bossy right now. I'm pointing my finger in your face. I'll stop. Okay. Um, but tell me if, tell me if you disagree, but I feel like everybody needs a pair of sunglasses that really just makes them feel like look at me I'm wearing my sunglasses and I'm amazing I don't know I don't even know what accent that was but I get myself back together here uh, but I really feel like you should look for a pair of sunglasses that you love and when you put them on it just makes you feel like very just chic looking and the thing is with these is these don't cost a lot of money you can easily find some that are like 10 or 12 dollars and they look amazing you can get so many dupes out there i live in florida i can't really do too many dupes because i get worried that they're not really shielding my eyes from the sun um so i <laughs> i go with ray-bans usually and i will link my favorite pair below but i really feel like this is an important accessory for spring and summer and beyond can really help you especially when you just don't feel like putting on any makeup i'm gonna stop with sunglasses now i think you've had heard enough of me about sunglasses moving on the next item on your spring essentials wardrobe essentials clothing list is a pair of nude sandals it doesn't have to be nude sandals it could be nude mules it could be nude heels it could be nude whatever you want on your feet i would just say something that's a little skin tone so that can kind of go with everything that you're wearing I personally love nude anything on my feet. I just feel like it elongates me and I just feel like it really never goes out of style. I just recently replaced my nude heels because they are just so banged up. These really cute nude heels. I'll show you a picture and I'll link them below in case you're interested. So obviously nude heels are great here, but what I really mean are some nude sandals and I have so many nude sandals, it is unreal. I actually do wear them all, but in the next video, <laughs> I will tell you some alternatives or in addition to, or instead of, you can get instead of all nude heels. The next thing you might need for this spring, it might be a spring wardrobe essential, is a light jacket. Again, my Florida ladies, if you live in South Florida, you might be like, uh, I'm gonna sweat to death. This could be a denim jacket, it could be a trench coat, it could be a moto jacket. I consider a moto jacket my winter jacket, <laughs> um, but that might be a light jacket for where you live, a utility jacket, something you can put on again if there's a cold evening or you're going somewhere with air conditioning inside, or those days where you wanna add that third layer just to make your outfit a little bit more stylish and a little bit more elevated. As far as handbags, I really feel like the main essential spring handbag would just be something that's nude or neutral colored. You just want something that would go with everything that can hold your cell phone and your wallet and really be that go-to bag when you don't really know what else to put with your outfit. This one I think everybody probably already has, but it is definitely an essential. It really should never leave your closet no matter the season, unless you live in Antarctica. But a white t-shirt is something I just really feel like everybody needs and that you may just have to look around for the right style that works for you. I have several white t-shirts and I wear all of them. I have a v-neck one that I have been used to love to wear and now I've been kind of gravitating away from it. I have kind of a heavier cotton one that I've been wearing a lot more recently. But white t-shirts, they will go with all those printed bottoms, anything colorful that you want on your bottom half, you can easily put a white t-shirt with it. I wouldn't really stop there for me personally. I have a black t-shirt, a gray t-shirt, and then I try to sprinkle in some colors as well. This item you may not have thought about as a spring essential, but I think that it is. And it's a short sleeve sweater. Not a heavy, thick one, but a short sleeve sweater that you can wear when it's like, you know, 67 degrees and there's a little breeze. And like, you don't wanna wear a jacket, but you don't really wanna wear something super light because you might get a little bit chilly and you wanna look kinda like, you know, put together a little bit. It's a very specific day, um, but it may happen. And you may need that short sleeve sweater. This next one is another one that not everyone will resonate with, 
but I do think you should consider it. And that is a go with everything belt or maybe a few belts, a couple belts. I personally love belts. I feel like they can upgrade your outfit in a lot of ways, especially as it gets warmer and you're not gonna be able to add a bunch of things, a belt can do a lot of work for you. And then those t-shirt dresses or your shirt dresses, you can take that belt off that came with it. You can add one of your own belts and make it look a little bit nicer, just a little bit more expensive. So I really think this is a fun one to play around with. If you're not really a belt person, but you're like, maybe I'll try one. Since we are going into spring, I would recommend getting something like nude or taupe or a soft brown or even gray or white. And a belt is something that you could keep for the rest of your life, literally the rest of your life. They have different notches. So if you gain weight and lose weight, it just keeps on going with you right through the process. If you spend more money on that belt, you aren't gonna get rid of it anytime soon if it's something you really love. So I do think this is one of those things you can kind of invest in. I don't like the word invest, but you can splurge on a little bit. So this is not everything that you will possibly need in your wardrobe. You have to look at your own lifestyle as well and just see what else you need to fill in the gaps. I hope I didn't repeat myself too much because I just did a video on like 17 basics you really need in your wardrobe a few weeks ago. Hopefully this is not super redundant. I do like the idea of having a fresh start for spring and just taking out everything and only putting in our closets what we are going to wear this spring that fits us right now, that works for our lifestyle and our personality and our life and just kind of all the rest of the stuff, the heavy coats and um, the things that don't fit or you know anything else just needs to go to another part of your house or to a friend, but it just doesn't need to be in your closet. So next week's video is going to be the really fun, interesting items that you can sprinkle in here to make your wardrobe a little bit more exciting and something that you know excites you when you go get dressed, brings you joy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any that you consider wardrobe essentials in the spring that I did not mention. I would love to hear them. Sometimes you guys are from another totally different part of the country and you mention something and I'm like, wow, that makes total sense. I don't live there, but if I lived there, that would definitely be something that I would need. So mention it below. Um, let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it or thumbs down if you did not. Consider subscribing if you have not already, and I will see you next time.